Hi, I'm Dick Rauscher. The canyon you see behind me is the old riverbed for the Deschutes River. Uh, it runs through Redmond, Oregon. It's a common hiking trail. I spend quite a bit of time out here. I write a lot about primitive ego and the importance of understanding that conditioning of childhood if we want to be happy and, and uh, successful in life, if we want to achieve wisdom. One of my favorite stories is the story about the, uh, it's a Zen Buddhist story about the uh, master who had a student come and the student and the master talked for a while and finally the master started pouring some tea and he kept pouring and pouring until he filled the cup and then the cup was running over and the student said, Master, the, the, the tea is flowing over the, the rim of the cup. And the master said, yes, this is a lot like your brain. It is too full to take in anything new. That story is one of my favorites because it talks about the primitive ego and the primitive ego always needs to be right and it always needs to be in charge. The problem is with the primitive ego is not that there's, it's not a bad part of us, it's just an is. It's a part of us that will get in the way of wisdom. We won't grow if we don't learn to let go of that need to be right all the time. One of the things to remember about the primitive ego is that we're all born ignorant, right? We're born as a completely blank slate. Everything we learn, everything we know, is learned either through someone else or through an experience. The problem with the primitive ego is it needs to be right. So instead of listening, it tends to be uh, more concerned with how its own beliefs are being impacted. If our goal is to be wise and successful in life, then we need to take in new information. And the best way to do that is to embrace a mind that's based on not knowing. You know, our universe is a pretty big place. And we really don't know a whole lot. But if we want to become wise and if we want to become successful, then we've got to learn how to take on a not knowing level of consciousness. Because that's the only way that we're going to be able to listen to new wisdom. If you want to hear a little bit more about this subject, you can click the button below and it'll take you to, the, to an article that I'll be publishing in another day or so. And the other button down there, if you push that one, it'll give you a free subscription to the Stony Hill Nugget, including my manifesto. And both of those are free. All you have to do is sign up for them. So we'll see you down the road. I don't know where we'll be the next time I record, but it'll be somewhere interesting.